Christmas time means punches galore. Big feasting bowls of things that are ridiculous and impossible to get through in a single season. So I'm going to teach you today how to make a single serving Christmas time punch on day 15, uh, or 14, <laughs> of 25 drinks of Christmas. Hey there, hi there, ho there. My name is Michael. I'm a former bartender from the Kalamazoo area here in Michigan. And today we're on day 14. I promise it's 14. Uh, 25 drinks of Christmas. Christmas punches are fun. They're these big, heaping thing, these big massive assemblies of, of different juices and things. They're great. They're also a lot. So what we're gonna do today is make a single serving punch that I call Christmas time punch featuring all of these things in front of you. You're going to need uh, some orgeo and ginger syrup, uh, some cherry bitters, Angostura bitters, cranberry juice, brandy, both lemon and orange juice, I'm using mandarins today. And then for garnish, you'll need some cocktail cherries. We're doing half an ounce of orgeo and half an ounce of ginger syrup because that way we balance out the sweetness that orgeo brings and give it a little bit of ginger character and heat. Uh, sort of melding the flavors together into something that works a little bit better than either one of them on their own. Next up, we'll need uh, one dash of sherry bitters, and then we'll do three dashes of Angostura. Next, we're going to need our citrus juices. I'm gonna start with an ounce of lemon juice. I'm gonna need an ounce of orange juice. Like I said before, I'm using mandarins here because they have a very potent, semi-sweet, but still uh, somewhat tart orange flavor compared to something like navels, which are very, very sweet and would do better in something like a mulled wine. Next up, we need uh, an ounce of our cranberry juice. And finally, two ounces of brandy. Brandy, ooh. When I first started making this uh, spec, I started off using Jack Daniels and it actually works pretty well. Um, the flavors in here kind of accentuate the charcoal um, filtered character that Jack Daniels has, but brandy's just a better pick, I think, for being a bit more neutral, carrying a bit more woodiness, sweetness, vanilla notes. It's a bit more approachable to the palate than Jack Daniels. We're gonna throw some ice into this and give it a shake. We're gonna do our usual one cube crack, one cube hole. We got that in there, we'll give it just a quick cap up. Tap it down. Give it a shake for 12 to 15 seconds. Once we've gotten that all nice and shaken up, we're gonna go ahead and get a double rocks glass here, something along these lines. This one needs a polish, so not that one. That one's good. <laughs> we'll throw a cube of ice into that and then strain this into it. Head and throw ice cube in, uncap this bad boy and strain it right in. Now to complete the drink, we need uh, a couple of the garnishes. I'm gonna go ahead and do something I did with the last cocktail we worked on and do a half wheel of mandarin onto the side of this. Kind of like how we did with the Christmas in the sand. Just put that right there on the lip. And then next, we're gonna pull up those cocktail cherries I mentioned. Spear a couple of those. Actually, I'll put them like that on the edge of the glass next to the orange. And voila, there you have it. A Christmas time punch. Let's go ahead and give it a sip for that cherry juice inevitably makes a mess of my table. Mmm. It's nice. It's nice. It's really well balanced, actually. There's a lot of citrus juice in it. Mandarin is sweeter than it is tart. So that with a full ounce of, of syrup is like definitely sweet. But you get this ginger and, 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 and bitter, like Angostura bitter note that comes in just after you get those kind of fresh juice flavors in there and it, it, it pulls it back and it keeps it in one place. It's really nice. It's not cloyingly sweet like you might think it is. It's, it's very much sweet, but not too much so. The brandy's in there, it's doing something. This isn't very, very uh, strong, you know, particularly fascinating brandy. So that's probably got most, of, <laughs> most to do with it. But um, it gets the job done. And it really works. You know, maybe maybe something like uh, Jack Daniels would work better here, actually, because it's got a bit more you know a bit more rough and tumble character to it. It would stand out maybe a little bit better. But if you were looking for something you can sip and just kind of throw back to deal with your in-laws this Christmas, this is definitely it. Almost like an orange creamy kind of thing with these berry and ginger and almond notes in it. It's very interesting and something I think just about anybody can get behind. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a Christmas time punch for day 14 of 25 Drinks of Christmas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button down below. We got more episodes coming out up until December 25th. I can't wait to see you guys there.
Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye.